Good morning and welcome to the first of Redeemer's Lent videos for 2022. This year we're going to be using this book, An Ocean of Grace by Tim Chester, uh, which includes prayers from Christians throughout history. And we're going to be using those prayers to help us to focus on Jesus as we approach Easter. Every day from today up until Easter Sunday, a different member of the Redeemer family is going to be reading one of these prayers out to you. And we hope that they encourage you, challenge you but most importantly lead you to focus on Jesus as we approach Easter. I'm gonna read the first one today which is a prayer that was first prayed by Thomas Beacon. Heal me Lord and I shall be healed. Save me Lord and I shall be saved. O oh, good Jesus I confess my sins are great but your merits are much greater. My wounds are many and grievous, but you are the good Samaritan, full of pity and compassion, able to heal my wounds, even if they were 10,000 times greater. I am a sinner, but you are a saviour. I am sick, but you are a physician. I am blind, but you are the light of the world. I am Satan's prisoner, but you are a redeemer. I am dead in sin, but you are the resurrection and life. I am hungry, but you are the living bread. I am thirsty, but you are the well of life. I am poor, but you are the Lord of all wealth. I am a barren tree, but you are the true and fruitful vine. I am a lost sheep, but you are the good shepherd. I am the prodigal son, but you are the gentle father. I am by nature a child of wrath, but you are by nature the son of the living God. I am by nature a sinful person, but you are by nature the righteous and innocent man. I am a daily offender, but you are a continual mediator. I am a breaker of the law, but you are the fulfiller of the law. I have lost my heavenly inheritance through sin, but you have recovered it by your death. I have brought about my own destruction, but you have brought me salvation by your precious blood. O most merciful Saviour, though I find in myself nothing but sin, death and damnation, yet I find in you grace, mercy, favour, reconciliation, forgiveness and everlasting life. Take away therefore all that is mine, which is all nothing, and give me all that is yours, which is all good. You are called Christ, the Anointed One, therefore anoint me with your Holy Spirit. You are called a physician, therefore heal me according to your name. You are called the son of the living God. Therefore, according to your power, deliver me from the devil, the world and the flesh. You are called the resurrection. Therefore, lift me up from the damnable state in which I miserably lie. You are called the life. Therefore, awaken me out of this death in which through sin I am detained. You are called the way. Therefore, lead me from the vanities of this world and from the filthy pleasures of the flesh toward heavenly and spiritual things. You are called the truth. Therefore, do not allow me to walk in the way of error, but let me walk the path of truth in everything I do. You are called the light. Therefore, put away from me the works of darkness, that I may walk as the child of light in all goodness, righteousness and truth. You are called a saviour. Therefore, save me from my sins according to your name. You are called the Alpha and Omega. That is the beginning and end of all goodness. Therefore, begin a good life in me and finish it to the glory of your blessed name. So shall I, receiving these benefits at your merciful hand, praise and magnify your blessed name forevermore.